Okay guys, today I have a spring shoe trends video and it's featuring the brand Vivaya. So they did send two pair of shoes for me to review for you guys. And in addition, I am also gonna show you a pair that I purchased on my own. I also have another video that I previously did with Vivaya featuring a few of their different styles. And I will link that down below for you guys because they have a lot of great shoes. And in case you missed that one, you want, I want to also check that one out because they have some really cute styles that I featured in the last video as well. So I do want to give a thank you to Vivaya for sending me these shoes to review for you guys. So let's get started with this spring shoe trends from Vivaya. They have also kindly given me a coupon code for you to get 10% off if you decide you do want to purchase a pair of shoes from their website. And I'll put the code on the screen and I'll also put it in the description box down below. So I want to show you in detail two style of shoes that they did send me and I'm also going to show you a pair that I bought on my own. These are so cute and I'm going to show you an outfit look with all three of these shoes. If you're not familiar with this brand, they did begin in 2020 and they are a sustainable company. Every pair of shoes that you purchase from them helps to recycle six plastic bottles. So let me go ahead and get started with the first style. So this is the Aria 5. It is a pointed toe flat. I have a wide foot. These actually have been revised in the newer version where they have a wider toe bed. So if you're someone who has had a wide foot, like I do have a wide foot, or if you're someone that has bunions and don't think that you can wear a pointed toe shoe, you can wear these because they do have a wider toe bed and they have a stretch factor in the toe bed. So it does accommodate for wider feet. So I do get these true to size in my normal US size 10 and Euro size 41 and a half. These are so comfortable, you guys. And each pair of shoes that they make has a knit fabrication and all of them are different. So you can kind of see, let me give you a close up. You can see that texture in this shoe. I have another pair that I had previously bought and it has a completely different texture. It almost has like a wool blend to it. I purchased these back in the winter time and they are the Aria as well. And you can see that they are two completely different knitting textures. So it's almost like each shoe that you get, each style, each color has a different kind of knitting fabrication to them. So the color that this is in is an almond and they do have several other colors. They have some bright colors and they also have a lot of neutrals. It's just a really classic style and they have a sneaker technology. So the insole is made out of the same kind of material as sneakers to give it a really nice, comfortable feel. So these are machine washable. Not all of their shoes are machine washable. The ones that have heels, you can't throw in the washer, but these are, if you just remove the insole in here, you can just throw them in the wash. And just look how flexible and soft these insoles are. And you can see that they actually have this extra padding in the back right here and also in the front. So that makes them really comfortable. They have this heel pad in the back so you don't have to ever worry about rubbing blisters on the back of your heels because they do have this really nice pad it's very cushioned in the back to help alleviate any of those problems it also has a really nice arch support on the inside of these as well and the insole is kind of made out of different layers. So you have an insole and, and a midsole as well. The midsole is made out of kind of like a yoga mat and the insole is made out of a foam that is kind of the same material as the sneakers are. And the outsole is a shock absorption outsole. So these are really nice, a great basic. You can get these in neutral colors or like I said, some brighter colors, but this is a classic style that will never go out of style. You can wear these for years to come. Next, I want to talk about the jewelry. So this one is a two-tone, so it has the black at the toe box. Also has a black trim around here, and then you have the white colors. That's what they call it. They call it this black and white, but it's almost the same color, a little bit lighter than the almond that I just showed you, and then this really great chunky heel. So chunky heels are so on trend. So this one is going to go right along with the trends, but this one's not going to be something that is going to go out of style in a few years. A lot of the chunky heels that you're seeing on the runways and things are just over exaggerated, big, huge, tall platform, chunky heels. This is a classic style that is just going to stay with you for years. And this has a really nice wide chunky heel that it's comfortable even if you're someone that really doesn't like to wear heels this one would be one that would be comfortable for you and again it has a different knitting style if you can see the texture in this one i don't know if it's really going to pull it up really good but this has a completely different texture than the other two that i showed you but i love the contrast of the black and white and this does come in some other colors this one also has an arch support in here and i did pick this one up in my normal us 10 euro 41 and a half 
I love the rounded toe on this one. So you saw the pointed toe and now you have a rounded toe in this particular style. The cushioning part of this is antibacterial and deodorizing. So that's a really nice feature as well. The toe box is also stretchable in this one as well. So this is great for people that have wide feet and bunions. And the website says that you can actually run in these. So I have a style that I previously got that's called the Melody. Let me just kind of compare those two for you. So they both have this chunky heel. These are in a black color, but these have more of a square toe and these have that rounded toe. But then look, the texture is completely different in that one too. So you almost have like lines going through on that one. So those are a little bit different. Like I said, every style has a different kind of knit texture, which just makes every one of them kind of unique. So that's the difference in the Melody and the Julie. They do both have some chunky heels, but this has a rounded toe and this one has more of a square toe. So lastly, I wanna talk about these Tamiya wedges. So these were the ones I actually purchased on my own. I love a great wedge because it just gives you the height, but you don't have to worry about the heel. But actually those chunky heels in the Julie and also in the Melody that I showed you, they're comfortable. I wear those Melody ones all the time with a lot of dress looks and I just think they're really comfortable to wear most of the day. But these are the wedges and they have a wood grain look here on the back. And again, look at the texture of this one. It's completely different than any of the other ones that I have shown you as well. This cushioning has like a diamond look to it. Also has a really good arch support in these. Now these are not machine wash because they do have the wedge on here but you can spot clean these and they wipe really nice this has an almond toe on this one and this is actually in the color almond so this is the same color as the aria that i showed you but they're just a great neutral to just wear with a lot of dresses or any kind of looks that you want these are really good i actually have these shown to you with some linen pants and a great spring blazer these also have the heel pad in the back to prevent any blisters on the back of your heels. They have a 2.16 inch heel, so not a real tall heel, but enough to give you that height that you might want with some of your boot cut jeans that require you to have a little bit of a higher heel to make them look really flattering. This is a good option for that. And these also have, just like the other shoes, the anti slip grip on the bottom on your outsoles. So all of the shoes that I've shown you today are on trend. The wedge is always on trend, the chunky heel. Also those Arias are really great because you never can go wrong with a ballet flat or some kind of flat. And that pointed toe is good because it also accommodates people who have a wide foot or bunions as well. These insoles, the midsoles, and all of these shoes are very comfortable. The Aria is a machine washable, but the Julie and the Tamiya are not because they do have the heels on there. But all these are great quality. And I love that each pair of shoe that you buy is made out of six recycled plastic bottles. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video on some spring shoe trends from the brand Vivaya. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I would love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button as do weekly videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.